With a new day comes a new grounded update, and today there is a new patch on the PTS. These are the things that have been changed in the patch. I'm going to quickly go over the patch notes, and then I'll show some footage uh, while I'm reading them out of all the new stuff that's been changed. So, the first one is the cozy level up audio has been changed, so I assume there's a new sound for that now. Cozy. Very cozy. Super cozy. Ultra cozy. There is also two new building pieces in the thing. We have the wasp paper lamp and the wasp paper partition. Now, I assume these take wasp paper, but I'll show what they both look like right now. They also changed the wasps, finally. They only apply poison instead of poison, venom, and bleed. Now, this is good because it means the waspidote is actually useful because that cures poison, and it also means the wasps aren't going to be anywhere near as OP as they were before, which is really nice. They can still apply bleed, but it's only if the wasp drones give them the buff that gives them Cutman. They fixed the spicy staff projectile. This thing was launching literally across the map, and uh, it's back to where it used to be now, which makes sense. You can now block the Wasp Queen's land and the Broodmother's jump back. Now, this was really bad, especially in case of the Broodmother, where the Broodmother had a jump back attack now, um, similar to what the Shield Bug and the Stink Bug do, where they jump backwards, and it inflicted poison and you couldn't block it. But it seems like that is now blockable, which is really nice. As I've said, all attacks should be able to be blocked in the game. It's only fair if you're going to have a parry system in place. The Wasp Queen's attacks do more damage. This makes sense i mean the wasp queens attacks themselves don't really do much damage it's more the explosives and all the effects you get given that does all the damage to you so uh, it makes sense to have her do a little bit more damage make her a little bit more powerful these stuffed creatures have been fixed now this is a bug that i noticed as soon as the update released uh, basically in the new update a few of the creatures got made really small so like the stuffed antlion for example was teeny tiny and uh, they've fixed that now, they're all back to the sizes they were supposed to be, which is great. Nice to see that they're all back at normal size again. Growing muscle sprouts has already been nerfed. They only grow two by default. Um, but if you green thumb them, it does actually work now, which it didn't when it first released. And they grow into larger sprouts that can be chopped into two each. So you could essentially farm four if both of them green thumb. But the chances of this are pretty slim. So even if you use green thumb, you're only going to get three. Um, essentially just means you're going to have to set up a much bigger muscle sprout farm if you want a lot of muscle sprouts. The cozy meter hides the full bar at level 4 instead of level 5. Yeah, this was an obvious glitch. A lot of people didn't realise you can get level 5 of coziness. Everyone thought it only went to level 4 because the progress bar disappears once you hit level 4. But it does actually go to level 5 and you can now see that progress bar filling up all the way up to there. Less wasps during base attacks. I mean, this is nice but I'm still not going to turn my faction reactivity on. I got one wasp base raid, there was about 10 wasps, and every time I hit them, they didn't even come after me. They just, they just ran away, they didn't care. They, they, I hit them, and they, they, they just kept attacking my base, so my whole base almost got broken. So, yeah, I'm not turning base raids back on if wasps are going to raid my base non-stop. I'm not prepared for that, you know? And finally, they fixed a crash that happened when you were crafting. I never experienced this crash, but, you know... I'm sure they fixed a bunch of other crashes that uh, aren't mentioned here. They like to fit, fix a lot of stuff and then not put it in the patch notes. So there might be a few sneaky things in there that uh, aren't mentioned, but this is everything that's officially mentioned in the new patch that released today. So, uh, you know, make sure you update your game and uh, apply these changes. We've got some new buildings, which is pretty cool.